At least 40 people were killed and many others were wounded by gunmen on motorbikes in an attack on a mining village in central Nigeria on the 20th of May. This is the latest violent episode to have hit the region that is deeply troubled by resource disputes and intercommunal strife. The late Monday attack took place in the Plateau State, where clashes between the nomadic herders and the pastoral farmers are rife. Also, last December, nearly 200 people had been killed in Plateau's Bokos and Barkinladi districts over several days of violence during the Christmas period. Our next report gets more details from Nigeria. Central Nigeria is an ethnically and religiously diverse hinterland known as the Middle Belt, where the vicious cycle of violence has claimed thousands of lives in almost two decades. The latest attack took place late Monday evening when armed men riding on motorbikes invaded the Zurak mining community in Wase district in the Plateau State, shooting indiscriminately at residents, abducting an unspecified number of people and setting houses ablaze. Our correspondent Luisa Olani has sent us this ground report in the immediate aftermath of the incident. Residents of Zurak village in Bashel district of Wase local government area of Plateau State, Nigeria, were thrown into mourning on Monday evening as suspected bandits invaded their community and reported to have killed about 40 people, injuring scores and burning several houses. However, the State Commissioner of Information, Musa Ashom, said only nine deaths have been confirmed so far. Various media reports say residents camped for safety as these gone men in their numbers raided the community with sophisticated weapons, disrupting the day's activities. Now, Plateau State, Nigeria has been fought with a series of armed attacks in recent times, with thousands of persons killed in recurrent violence in the state since 1994. According to the police, the armed men, referred locally as bandits, were fleeing an aggressive onslaught by security forces against bandits who were using the Bangalala forest as a hideout. While at least seven assailants were neutralized by the security forces, the fleeing gang members had caused the mayhem in Zurak no, and the go. village of Dakai. The Zurak community is predominantly Muslim and lives off the mines. While Wasir district has deposits of zinc and lead, the Plateau state as a whole is renowned for tin mining. Clashes between nomadic herders and pastoral farmers are fairly common in the region. Rising population and climate change has contributed to escalating tensions over grazing land, access to water and the state's metal reserves. Parts of northern and central Nigeria are also terrorized by heavily armed gangs who target villagers, schools and travelers, carrying out mass kidnappings for ransom. The most populous African nation is plagued with security challenges on multiple fronts, including a 14-year-long Islamist insurgency in its northeast, separatist violence in the southeast and frequently deadly clashes between farmers and herders in the central region. The challenge of this multiple-front war is daunting. How prepared is the Nigerian government to deal with this challenge? Only time will tell.